Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Grant, people can't <laughs> see me. It needs to be more... Yeah, Grant. We I'm are. I'm what hitting. happened? We are Grant. recording. That's what happened. Uh-oh. Uh, do you guys have headphones on? Headphone? Who hears me? Ooh. Headphone? Oh, yeah. I hear you out of one ear. Yeah, no. Are we, we're not yeah, going to be doing Casey you. like this on the show. You can't do me like this. We're not can... doing Casey like this on the show. Yeah, a little Bye, further, Casey. A further back. A I'm little too bit. far. Bye, Grant. Casey. Please don't treat me this way. Dylan, look at that. Look at what Grant's doing to Casey's oh, ass. Geez. He's cutting off me the out. screen. <laughs> He's a part of that. Bye, Come little on. Casey. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's made me a mere dirt grub. <laughs> oh, wallowing in my own filth. God, right of the shrubberies. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get you back in. Good evening. Hey, yeah. A little better. That's fine. Do you want to turn a little bit more to face the camera? Whoa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, Casey. Sorry. That looks there. comfortable. Now yeah, look, Hi. all three of you guys smile? are facing the camera. Thank right. you. Yeah, that looked good. <laughs> y'all, y'all look great. <laughs> look good to me. <laughs> So it was funny when your head was just in the corner. <laughs> it's just yeah. funny look. I kind of liked that. Grant, <laughs> pop me back down there again. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong thing. What'd you grab? Yeah, what'd you grab? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, let's not What's worry happening? about it. Yeah. Let's not worry about it. Good evening. Hey, so we are here <laughs> to see the cabin. Are you still renting the cabin out? or <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, yeah. Where, wait, where are you? Hold oh, on. down here, silly. Look. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hey, Casey. I'm stuck. Can, Gotta, <laughs> what, so what's the rent on this boy? What's going on here? Well, funny you ask. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I expect I accept payment and money or or eyebrow or eyebrow. That could work. The eyebrows could work. We yeah. have, so, yes, <laughs> that Welcome. could work. You're going to get sick upside down all, this whole time. So it's $6,000 a month or two eyebrow. Two we, eyebrow? In this economy, does that cover a cleaning fee? Yes. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it covers a cleaning fee. <laughs> I clean it myself. No. I'll Very be cool. here. Are you going to be there the whole time? <laughs> I'll be here waiting. <laughs> what, are you, what are you running out the place? I'll be here waiting for a mess to clean. Yeah, we run it out to anyone who asks. <laughs> that sounds sinister. That's <laughs> fuck. Maybe next week. I mean, I don't have eyebrows to give right now, though. I gave two out the other week. I can't Gosh. be giving out a bunch of eyebrows right now. Not yet in that, this in, economy. In this economy, that'd be fucking nuts. The, the eyebrow doesn't go as far as it used to. I tell you that much. Yeah, it used to in the fifties. Oh, you guys God. have good eyebrows. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wow. That's why I'd like even more of them. <laughs> <laughs> Double the profit. Or unibrow it and get a real deal. Ooh, Anthony Davis. Right down the middle. So cool. Does so he shave that down thing? A, a unibrow <laughs> this way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From chin to stern. Yeah, the downward. <laughs> From chin to stern. <laughs> stern to tip. <laughs> Total uni. Well, Dylan, it is so nice for you to have come on the show today. You've never been on here? No. Thanks, William. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had been on before. Yeah, no, it's first time. I'm uh, excited to see you. Uh, Decided to be in the woods with you guys. Yeah, and Grant was nice. Yeah, you know what? Grant was nice. I think I kind of gave him a tepid handshake, but he also gave me a tepid handshake. It's so, weird when somebody does that. Which when it two tepids finish. come together? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was as strong as I could do, so sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, it's, it's all right, Grant. It's wild that I can hear you in the headphones. Hello. <laughs> oh, Wait, what was that? Oh, shit. <laughs> He's doing a Bane thing. <laughs> Do a Bane voice, Grant. 
It is me, Bane. Whoa. <laughs> is that pretty good? Yes. It's Grant. <laughs> it's a me, <laughs> Bane. Bane, you. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks for having me. Fuck it. <laughs> We're going to get Rift City. Off to a hot, hot start, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Dude, the listeners are going to be... I know, we have a lot of people. We're actually now on AM radio. Yep. What is it? 107 point something, I think. 107.9. 107.9. That's uh, one of the most listened to AM stations. I don't know. I know. It's a big deal. Yeah, Grant, Casey and I haven't told you that yet, but yeah, we're about to start. We're getting syndicated. So. For real? Yep. Whoa. Yep. Transitioning to AM. And it's the way of the future. <laughs> yeah, we think it is. We were looking over charts. Grant, what is going on? Now you have eyebrows to pay. Mm. I gave you some. Does it really eyebrows? look like I don't have eyebrows, kind of, in it, real life? It did look like it. <laughs> oh, it looks like. In real life, got, does it look like I have eyebrows? It looks like you've got like half. <laughs> yeah. It looks like I have half of eyebrows. Yeah, 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 on each side. But they're symmetrical. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Barely there. Barely there. Dude, I get a unibrow like every three days. Do you have to shave it? I, I pluck it now because apparently you're not supposed to shave it. But I hear if you shave it, it grows back thicker. That's what I, I think it, heard. thick uni would be actually pretty cool, pretty unique. It could be helpful. Yeah, exactly. That would really take my act to the next level. <laughs> is unibrow. Does that hurt when you're tweezing them out? Yeah, it hurts like fucking shit. You start crying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Or do tears come to your eyes? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't have mine either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I probably wouldn't cry for do you. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would cry. No, we don't cry. Yeah. Don't this whole group. Yeah. We fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're fighting people tonight. Grant, are you in? Yeah. Yeah, you got me. Whenever Going I to feel- Dallas, we're fighting people at the hockey game tonight. Are you in, Grant? In Dallas? Yeah. Yeah, in Dallas. I am 100% in. Got to leave right after this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Let's we're leaving it. right after Honestly, this, it's so. like a three and a half hour, and that's not including stops. Yeah. Wait, no, it's not, is it? No. I mean, <laughs> Wait, <but. laughs> hold on. <laughs> no, I mean, we got to hit the Bucky's on the way. We're going to Bucky's. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Bucky's. I like their uh, flavored uh, the pecans, mm. and then that'll give us enough energy to beat <laughs> yeah. the shit out of somebody because yeah. our eyebrows. <laughs> the rage stems from the eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Was it happening? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could we do whatever. I'm down for a fight. But that's what I do. I, I Whenever I feel sad, I get in fights, too. I get real angry when I'm sad. You, you guys, do, what, like punching walls and stuff? Oh, yeah. I, I punched a wall when I was a kid, and I tried to, like, cover it up, and they saw it immediately. <laughs> Actually, no. It took them, like, Did you two hang or three a picture weeks. in front of it or something? Yeah. yeah I did the picture. Thing. <laughs> like, why is this picture? Yeah, why is a picture <laughs> weird on it's the like wall? It's, like, off kilter <laughs> of, <laughs> of the... <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, I got caught pretty quick. You guys used to punch holes in walls? No? My brother pushed me into a wall one time. What? <laughs> and there's blood all and over my face. And you fell through it? <laughs> no, it was this really hard wooden thing. Like, underneath our house, we were playing, like, flashlight tag or something, and I wouldn't give up the flashlight, and I pissed Vance off real bad, and he came up and pushed my ass, and my face slammed into this wooden thing. And Damn. Our neighbor Wesley looked at me and there was blood all coming out of my face. He's like, okay, I gotta go home. And he ran <laughs> home. It was some neighbor buddy. <laughs> it was fine. I didn't need stitches. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> and then I was going after his ass one time when we were a little older and he almost broke my fucking door, bedroom door down. So I, I stopped messing with him after that. He kind of scared me after that. <laughs> yeah, but I think I was know. being mean or something. I don't know. I think I was maybe. Being were you younger brother? I was the older brother. Oh, okay. So your Wait, younger brother. I like, think I was mean. <laughs> Aren't you a lot? Old? How, how much older are you than him? So I'm thinking about the age you would be playing flashlight tag. You know, like what were you sixteen and he was eight? It's are, not Seldon. That would be so funny oh, if it was Seldon. Because okay. yeah, okay. that that's a like, ten year difference. Yeah. Like, and he's like, I'm picturing like a nine year old like buzzing down your door, and you're like, and he's twenty one. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking stop. <laughs> Just blood coming out of my face. He fucking pushed me. Yeah, Vance was two years younger than me. That'd be so oh, funny okay. if it was Seldon. Yeah, that would be wonderful. So, if it was I was like, I guess he's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then Vance broke my kneecap one time. What? I think I've said that before. Yeah, I put my hand in his butt, and he had a fucking <laughs> gallon of milk, and I was running back down the stairs, and he launches the gallon of milk, and my fucking feet hit the hardwood floor right as the gallon of milk is exploding on the ground. So my feet, and I'm going fast down the stairs, and my fucking feet slip out from under me, and there's like this, this like this side of a, a door that I, my right knee slams directly into. It was horrible. <laughs> Fuck. And I was just laying in this pool of milk, just <laughs> yelling at Vance. Our mom went to like the store. So it's like, you better get some towels. Like mom's about to be. I was so fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. Laying yeah. in a fucking thing of milk. Oh, t- milk is fucking awful thing to lay in. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> God damn! Case but we're cool now. We're cool now. <laughs> You're chill, you, you guys are chilled out. Yeah. God. I remember one time my brother, uh, <laughs> fucking, I, ha- I had these pair of handcuffs, you know, because I played like cops and robbers or whatever. Yeah. And uh, he didn't like that. I didn't give him them. So he and my cousin chained me to a fire hydrant, and I was there for <laughs> like all day. <laughs> <laughs> and people and cars would pass. It was right next to the street, so cars would pass and think I was like playing or something. Like locked uh, chain. Yeah, like a like handcuffed to a, a oh. fire hydrant. Oh my! For gosh. like the whole like day. Like you need the key. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Trap. <laughs> yeah, because oh I wouldn't give them the handcuffs, and that's why I wouldn't give it to them. Damn. You know, Did you get real sunburned. Yeah, I got real. It was <laughs> hot as fuck, and yeah. it was like during the hours where it just the sun was just <laughs> beating down. It was crazy. But no more perfect place to be if you had had a wrench. You could have wrenched it open. It would have been like a New York street party. <laughs> Hydrate. Yeah, yeah. It would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> then you would have just been kind of chained up. Like, yeah. yeah. Summer. Yeah. <laughs> Who is Best this summer kid? For- <laughs> Let's go get a slice up. this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> New York summer. Did you ever uh, Nothing better. get the shit beat out of you or beat the shit out of somebody? Okay. <laughs> Sure, yeah, well, yeah, well, my siblings, uh, yeah, my sister used to always throw shoes at me, and it would hurt, she, she a girl, she throws shoes, hit me, Was she younger? She's sister? four years older than me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I remember, <laughs> I, like, pu- I pushed her one day, and I guess it hurt her, and then, like, a few days later, I came back, and she was <laughs> in the basement, and she's probably 12 years old, that's probably 8 years old, and she was listening to Sufjan Stevens on the computer, and she was wearing all black, like, fishnet, kind of, like, goth girl, like, stuff, Uh and she was like, you know, I have to wear long sleeves to school, because I don't want to tell people my brother hits me. Like, she, like, (laughs) what? She, like, made it this, this, like, abuse thing. Oh, my God. You threw a shoe at me, so I pushed you, bitch. You're so rude. Uh, Yeah. That's pretty good. I can't let people know. (laughs) <laughs> we, we wear these masks in public, and I'm afraid to take mine off. And it's fishnet, you just don't yeah. see skin. Yeah, I was like totally... She, How... got, she gone girl you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> she cut it off her hair. <laughs> How long was she doing? Did she do that for some amount of time, dressing like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it was just when she was pretty young, but it was like kind of like the Jeff Hardy type outfit, where it's like long fishnet shirts. Yeah. Uh, like hot topic <laughs> type stuff, yeah. She was rude. Uh, what you said something about punching holes in the wall. One time I was at a house party and me and my friends got barred out. And my buddy, it was some random person's house. My friend puked on the wall, and then he hung a picture. He found a picture like in a closet. <laughs> he hung a picture <laughs> over it like a Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta cover it. Up. <laughs> Damn, we left. It That's the perfect. Next day. Yeah, but the puke was like down here, so it was like a huge picture, like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> really close to the floor. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that being there. <laughs> yeah, if you punch holes in walls, you really got to like deck the whole place out to make it not <laughs> just go home with a thousand pictures on the walls. Yeah, my buddy Mark Harmon back in Memphis, you could fucking everybody would lo- do their names up on the wall with the lighter and there were punch there were hole punches and the girl that murdered her mom, her name was up on the wall with the lighter. Nora Jackson, There's like a she popular case of mom. a girl in Memphis who like killed her parents because she wanted to party more. And she was hanging out Whoa. at Harmon's house like right before Whoa. that. That's where I would have <laughs> <stayed. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. But I think she got out of jail. Yeah, it was all this. I knew the person. I knew out. her. <laughs> she ended up Laura Jackson? Yes. Yeah, she ended up, I Put think, her getting on one off. Of your list one day. <laughs> she got off because something with the prosecutor, but I think she was on drugs and like murdered the mom and the boyfriend was involved somehow or something. But wow. trying, to, trying to get money or something. I don't know. <laughs> Like when the mom died. How was she before all that? I didn't know her that well. She was like that group of people though. we were all like drinking and stuff. This was probably like 10th grade. It was like a group of people. We were all like drinking and smoking I, weed and stuff. After her, she probably ruined it for everybody, you know, because everyone was like, see, if you drink, you'll murder your mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the dad was some, like, pimp guy who would pimp out girls from a gas station. You could buy beer from the dad off of Mount Mariah Road. You could go buy underage beer from the fucking dad. Of the girl? Yeah. (laughs) She didn't kill him because he's cool. Yeah, he was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, he seems better. He's packing I.e. sell kids beer (laughs) if you don't want to get murdered. (laughs) But she's out, so... Nora, Nora, <laughs> we're we're fr- we're all still friends. We've said nothing bad at all. You're out. We're happy. You're out. Live your <laughs> life. You had to spend what twenty years in the slate. I don't know something. Yeah, everyone's. Are you up seeing once stuff, or twice. Casey? Yeah, it's Nora Jackson, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, her dad was killed. <gasps> In the convenience store he owned. Oh, that's right. I forgot he got murdered. Yeah. <laughs> Unsolved murder, January 2004. It was her. Yeah, 04. What? That would have it been around be the time. <laughs> 04. <laughs> Good year. Did we, yeah. did we just base together the murder? <laughs> yeah, I think so. She did kill the dad then. I think so. Yeah, but Holy she got shit. out of jail like five years ago. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Your mom was stabbed. You live and you learn. Times. Shit. Yeah. When I was in second grade, I was friends with this chick, Bailey Irish, and she uh, devised a plan to kill her her stepdad, and she uh, recruited me on on the playground. <laughs> on the playground. How old? I must have uh, whatever second grade is. Oh uh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so it was pretty young, you know. 13 or 14. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thir- 13 or 14 in my case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and so I, I like, I come back home and my mom was like, hey, can I go to Bailey Irish's house like Friday or whatever? And she's like, yeah, sure. What are you guys going to do? And I said, oh, oh yeah, we're going to kill her dad. <laughs> and she had this big elaborate pr- plan that her and the mom were going to help kill this guy. And uh, and I told my mom that, and then they had to call the principal. I think she got like moved out of the school. Damn. <laughs> I wonder if she ever got to kill anyone. That's what I'm wondering too. <laughs> I tried to look her up on on socials. I can't find her. Yes, yeah, she was probably pissed. You told your freaking mom. I know. I was a narc about it. Uh, I, I should have just helped kill the guy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 second grader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plausible deniability. I'm a second grader. It couldn't have yeah. been me, officer. <laughs> <laughs> I was jumping rope in the parking lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your alibis would be so funny. It's like, I was coloring a picture. Uh, yeah, me. Uh, look at how That's big that cool. car is. <laughs> Just space off. Yeah. It's a perfect crime. <laughs> That's sweet. She trusted you enough to ask. I know. I feel, I really do feel bad. And, nah. like, and I wasn't even trying you to rat ours. Really. Yeah, we yeah, were like, saved a life. I was ready to do and it. your life. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, so you know. I was ready to do it, though. <laughs> you would have got, you would have been so young. You would have gotten it. You would have been in what, juvie for some years and probably. Yeah, out. nothing. Slap on the wrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were in second grade. Yeah. 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 Been, what are they going to have gotten out? Yeah, I would have gotten out. <laughs> You'd have been able to live a normal life. Did you? Yeah. Wow, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning opening my my brand new Ridge wallet. Yeah, Casey, this Ridge wallet is something else. I mean, just the sm- smells new and it looks new. This has tiki. This is classic summertime <laughs> Ridge wallet here. Tiki wallet. This is vintage Ridge wallet. They've gone back to basics here. I got North Shore. 
Reminds me of the times when I went to the beach as a child. It looks like <laughs> the ocean and the sky mixed into one, and there's all this kind of stuff. But this this episode today is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Obviously, if if your old man's wallet weighs fifty pounds and makes his pocket sag, then we have the perfect Father Day gift idea for you. Replacing his old crusty oh, wallet yeah. with the Ridge. Is a gift you'll love for years to come. The Ridge Wallet expands to hold 12 cards plus room for cash while also being slim and sleek. I mean, look at this thing. This is slim and it's sleek. Summer Yum. body goals. Yeah. Summer body goals for sure. Makes me wish I was at the beach right now. Put this in my pants and go swimming. It's metal. It's completely titanium. Yeah, I mean, you could totally have this in your trunks and go out there and boogie board for a couple hours and you come back out and this bad boy's in here with your Costco wallet, your... Your Costco wallet, your Costco card, <laughs> Blockbuster card. I mean, it could have all kinds of... Uh, and they're also even designed with RFID blocking materials to protect dad from pit pocketers. And optional air tag attachments mean that he'll never lose his wallet again. Or you could follow somebody really <laughs> easily. If you knew they had a Ridge wallet, you could yeah. put your own air tag on there. Yeah. And then you you have a target for sure. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. So make sure yeah. if you have a Ridge Wallet to make sure you don't have somebody else's Apple tag on there because that means they're following you. <laughs> following. Huh. Speaking of following, with over 3 million <laughs> customers and over 50,000 five-star reviews, uh, let's just say you can't go wrong. Can't go Ridge wrong. Wallet. What an amazing buy. Wow. <laughs> it's an amazing... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Each wallet comes with a lifetime <laughs> warranty, so it's the best and last wallet your dad will ever need, especially depending how old he's living. I mean, it's whether it be five years, 10 years, 20 years, wow. this thing's still going to be around, even if you go to the ocean sometimes in the summer. Dude, lifetime warranty? That's a long time. Find the best gift this Father's Day using our link, ridge.com slash WMS. Right now, you can save up to 40% through June 15th. Ooh, what? Wow. What a dude. saving. Yikes. Especially in this economy. Uh, yeah. Tell me about it. Bro. That's ridge.com slash WMS, ridge.com slash WMS. And you can save up to 40% on your purchase through June 15th. And this thing is... Yeah, I mean, it's, and you could also throw it at somebody. Dude, you pull that bad boy out in the club, bro, all the ladies are going to be yeah. hawking. Yeah, they're going to be like, what are you getting? <laughs> who's the we... hunk? Yeah, who's that guy? It looks Sorry, like he's been ladies. at the beach who's all the day. guy with the beach butt? I'm spoken for with by the beach Rich butt. <laughs> who's the guy with the beach butt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. He's got that surfer's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think guy turns around to Dude, I think that, that even gives you abs, dude, if you buy one. Yeah, think about it. All right. Bye. Think about it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> did you did you guys used to do crime back in the day? How big? Give a good yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'll start slow. Like <laughs> my friends and I used to like there'd be all these new houses renovated on the street. They're building a cul-de-sac, and so we'd go in and smash all the windows and graffiti the <laughs> basements and stuff. Oh, that's, that's fun. funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, put a slur on the basement and then move on. Yeah, move to the next one. Start smashing. How would y'all be smashing this shit? Oh, just fucking rocks, bats. Fucking, yeah. we had long boards. I, like, jab it. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. You know, I don't like know. That. Not really like that. I remember asking my buddy Hugh Francis, and I think the first grade to join. I was stealing people's <laughs> shit in the first grade because there was like our locker numbers were on these ping pong balls, and then the teacher would do a ping pong ball, and you would win like a a Hot Wheels car or something. And I would always see who got it and fucking go to their backpack and steal it out of their bag. <laughs> and I asked my fucking buddy Hugh to start doing it with me, and he told his mom and they told my mom and it was the same this, thing damn this whole ordeal damn i wonder it's funny looking back at it now it's probably you, good you that ask happened him if he wanted to join the stealing club yeah something yeah. he told fucking elizabeth francis his uh, mom fucking typical elizabeth who would drive us so fast in her white toyota sequoia to school god listening to nora jo nora <laughs> jones yeah i love nora jones yeah the other nora Oh, ugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what they called her in jail. Oh, right. The other Nora, because I think she listened to a lot of Nora Jones. It's funny. What was Nora Jones' song? Didn't she have one song? Yeah, I forget. I can't like remember. An album or two? <laughs> is she the one that? Yeah, she only she had literally the, had one. Three little birds outside my window. No, that's Bob like... Marley. <laughs> <laughs> it's close though. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I. Uh, she did I, the Buffalo Soldier song. Yeah, Nora did. Jones. <laughs> it's all coming back now. You go to Jamaica, and they saw all the flags of Nora Jones' face on it. Nora Jones. <laughs> and most, uh, you want the Nora Jones? <laughs> <both there. laughs> you did. Did you do crime? Did you you did drugs? <clears throat> you? Yeah, but that was, was later. Yeah, that was you know when I was like twelve or thirteen. But yeah, little stuff like that. Yeah, that's so funny. Like the Stealing Club. I think we probably would have said something along those lines when I was a little boy. Yeah, I remember stealing stuff. I remember being a, after freshman year of college, knowing a buddy on, up in the dorm rooms, up in the things, I knew he had an ounce of weed, and I told my buddy, and my buddy stole it from him, and then- <laughs> Oh, wow. And then I remember being fucked up a couple times, like on cocaine and like almost telling him, but I never did. <laughs> but he always suspected it was me. So it's weird. That's like one person out there that I have wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's luckily not too many, but there's one. There's at least him who have kind of. You, you would like pass him and he you both could tell by like the way you guys looked at each other that it had happened. He like knew. The, he knew. Oh, that's fucking pissed. scary. I hate walking past. I mean, you do it in comedy all the time. You walk past a face and there's a look and you're like, oh, fuck. You know, I did something wrong or they did something wrong. Yeah, or I've there's... had similar feelings. <laughs> you know what times. I mean? It's it's fucking. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. A criminal. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Dylan, don't, don't look. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go the other way. Fucking. <laughs> what is that from? It's from Grant last night. He does all his. <laughs> He screen records his robberies. Grant's a big. You should ask Grant about his robbing stuff. Don't I knew from that handshake. He's a capable a man, capable of murder. Yeah, I mean, you can tell the person's like, "Don't shoot me." They have their hands up, and, but <laughs> don't shoot me, Grant. <laughs> then he has very to. limply holding onto that gun. Yeah, then he <laughs> has to. They know his name. <laughs> they they've seen his face. No witnesses. That's mm -hmm. Grant's policy. <laughs> That's smart. Smartest Smarter Grant. Yeah. <laughs> hey. No witnesses. Stab them all. I wonder what's going to happen to the guy in Idaho. Oh. The college murderer? Yeah. Is he going to trial? Yeah, he was in the courthouse for the first time yesterday. I was watching some of it, but I can't even really tell what's going on. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what's happening in there. Um, I, I know you all are fans of uh, Costco. Mm -hmm. Big fans. It's sad we haven't been in a while. Yeah. And I just got an email <laughs> about an hour ago. <laughs> about, what? Um, they've got the Memorial Day Grill and Chill. Okay. It's a Memorial Day cookout with essentials, summer looks, and more. You can get a Heinz ketchup relish and mustard grill pack four count for three fifty off. Three fifty off the grill pack? Yeah, and What's that's the total net cost. <laughs> Well, and that comes with two ketchups, <laughs> one relish, and one mustard. But I think it's actually double that. I, I'll have to check. And that's oh. a good Memorial Day sale. That's a great... It, that's if you're looking to grill and chill, We're that's a... We're using more ketchup than mustard, so that'd be perfect. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a good ratio. It's two ketchups, one mustard. <laughs> it's two one. one. Relish, yeah. Yes, one relish for the freaks. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, that is for the freaks. If we're really <laughs> yeah. going to get into it, yeah, yeah, people with the relish, that's but for you the have, freaks. You don't have a Kirkland yeah. shirt. You have, like, a Costco wholesale shirt, don't you? Yes, I have a Costco wholesale shirt. Where did you get that thing? You were so wearing good. that last night, weren't you? Or yeah, yeah, on recently. Sunday. My, my mom bought it for me for Christmas, and I thought it was the dopest thing in the world. Is it comfortable? It's so comfortable. I mean, it, it's Costco. That's as you know, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so you know, they load it up there. It's a comfortable, sh it's reliable. I can tell it's quality, and I, I I'm not in it for a brand name. <laughs> but I'm in it, it does it for have quality. the nice little. Yes, it has a little call, a little I Costco. Know. I didn't mean to be copying your style too much. I just, you but know. it's different. What are you talking about? Costco's a giant place. Everybody needs to be wearing. It. I mean, it's I a good. It's one hundred percent Pima cotton. Those shirts are hard to beat. It's undeniably hard to beat. 
undeniable. <laughs> That's what I really like about Costco. One word, undeniable. undeniable. Yeah. I mean, one of those shirts is what? $7? 100% Pima Cotton, $7 yeah. shirt? Yeah. Those numbers don't even make sense. I don't even know how they make money off of that shit. Yeah. Or think? you get a, a slice of pizza, a hot dog, and a soda for under five bucks. That's unheard of. And the, and the yeah. slices are big slices, as you guys know. Mm. The best. Undeniable. Undeniable. Very tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, at the storage unit place I worked at in L.A., I was right across the street from a Costco. Oh, shit. Los Feliz. Was, is so that I would go there one? Some. It, that's what made it yeah. better because you don't even have to go inside. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And then I noticed one time there was this memorial right out front of the building, the main building of the giant storage unit place where I fucking worked. And I went and read it. And some guy, there was a bunch of train tracks right there behind the Costco and stuff. And some crazy guy put like a bunch of gasoline on his car and like had broken up with his girlfriend and like fucking drove his car on the tracks and a train hit it and like a whole bunch of people died. And it happened on my birthday. I was standing out there looking at the plaque like this is weird. (laughs) Happened on my birthday behind the Costco. And so did Kobe Bryant happened on your birthday. Yeah, the Damn. disaster When's with the Amtrak birthday? train, January, January twenty sixth. Oh, thank God, <laughs> we uh, we passed it this year. Yes, we passed it with two warts <laughs> yeah. on my foot, <laughs> two foot warts. <laughs> Got a little breathing room. That's entire. That's too many onions for one hot dog. You guys agree yeah, with me or disagree? Agree. <laughs> agree. I, I would say I would agree. That's a whole yeah. onion. That's and I want grilled onions. I don't yeah, need yeah. this yeah. raw onion shit on my fucking. Yeah. Pissing me off just thinking about it. That is the best deal, though. 150 for a hot dog and a drink. And sometimes I'm like, I don't even want the drink. They're like, you have to take the cup. And I'm like, I don't, I just want the hot dog. And they make you. You're yeah. taking the cup. Yeah. It's 150. <laughs> you, you got this cup. <laughs> Y'all, not to brag, but uh, I used to work at Costco Food Court. No. Really? Yep. <laughs> was it popping all the time? It was. In fact, that's me in the photo. The hot oh dog? My God. <laughs> I'm right between your elbows. <laughs> oh, there you oh, are with the lipstick. There he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Oh, my gosh. You got a little, like, Groucho Marx mustache on? <laughs> I, I think I had darker lipstick on. Lipstick. Oh, okay. Are you sure that's not a mustache? You sure that's not a Groucho Marx mustache? I think it is a mustache. Yeah, we've seen pictures of you before with that mustache. Yeah. It's this weird phase he went through. Oh, went a Groucho? Through. Yeah. He went through a vaudeville phase. <laughs> weird phase? It wasn't working? Well, it think... wasn't that long ago, was it? <laughs> it was like six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> it was so strange. He'd come in here, he looked like a different person, he acted like a different person. <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> why, why did he do that? I don't know. It's some weird... That is some weird deal. You guys said you liked it. Quarter life crisis. Grant's only 25. Yeah. <laughs> he's having a quarter life crisis and he's assuming he's living to 100. Yeah. <laughs> Not with that lifestyle. You do those things yeah. too? <laughs> what? You do those things too? <clears throat> mm-hmm. All y'all. Tasty, tasty. Uh, tasty. Those are eight yum, yum, yum. milligrams. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Well, I put two of the sixes in my mouth at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I've seen in your mouth before. I've just seen like something on your upper, and I'm like, what happened? I just, I didn't know what it was. You thought I was a freak? I just didn't know what it was. Where do you put them? I put a top right, top left, a toggle. What do you do? Bottom right. What about you? Well, now I'm bottom left. When I was hitting it hard last year, it was bottom right, and then I, it's now it's bottom left. Uh, it's hers. hers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got their own coordinate. <laughs> what, know? do you switch them every time? Oh, yeah. I switch I back and forth. And sometimes I'll go too much on one side, and you start to get, like, a gravelly mouth. <laughs> Yeah, Rather don't run away. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like caustic to your skin. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I've been able to scrape my mouth skin off sometimes because I've done it too much. Yeah, I've had stuff come out. Of, it's bad. My Did mouth is always bleeding now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. Why is that all funny? It's I scary as shit. I know. It's terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> it's horrible. Dude, I can't stop. I stopped for a while. I was chewing a bunch of bubble gum. And then I don't know what I stopped. I stopped for two weeks. I didn't stop for very long. 
Yeah, no, it, it's hard. I mean, I I fucking finally stopped smoking cigarettes, and then I was like, oh, look at me, look at Dylan making the healthy choice, and then my <laughs> my mouth's like yours is a bloodbath. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the roots of your teeth are showing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the top of my <laughs> I can smile with my roots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, it's it's uh. I know that you, I got to kick it eventually, but I mean, I started fucking nicotine way young, like 14, 13, 14. Just hitting the windows with the <laughs> longboard smoking <laughs> sick. Dude, I was wild. I did some wild shit when I was a kid. Would you uh, ever toilet paper a house? That's so <laughs> underwhelming sounding after the destroying. <laughs> I remember we'd do that, though. That was always fun. No, that was always a blast. I love doing that. Yeah. I, I I would do big old pranks. Sometimes we would follow cars. Like we we had a car. Uh, this friend had like a dark car with like a tent, and we just pick a car, <laughs> and just follow them for like an hour. Oh, <laughs> and man. then when they'd like, if they went home, we would we would leave, and then we'd come back like ten minutes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a blast. Uh, and then we used to play this game in my Spanish class. This kid, Brett, who's now like a devout Catholic. Uh, but <laughs> we used to like snort Xanax bars. I mean, whenever our teacher would turn away, that was the game. Our Spanish teacher that would turn away. That's funny in board. class? Yeah. And so we put Damn. it on like a, on the, under the textbook or under a page in the textbook. And then we'd have to switch off and like, no, you have, it's your turn to do a line. <laughs> then it's your turn to do a line. Oh my God. I used to be wild, man. Used to be a king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in those days. It run. has been downhill since, buddy. <laughs> I remember leaving from a youth group thing kind of close to my parents' house, and I think my brother was in the car, and there were these two other kids that went to my high school, and I had a airsoft gun, and it's like two lanes driving the same way. And I like flash the gun at them, and I end up like doing it out and shooting it once, and their whole fucking back window explodes. <laughs> I was thinking it would ping off or something, <laughs> yeah. and it took the window out. They thought it was yeah. probably a real gun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I had to pay for it, I think, but yeah, it was it was kind of exciting. Oh, that it's shit's like, so funny to me. God, it's like when people think they're in terror, but they're not. Yeah. Like I watch those like Japanese games. <laughs> they're so cruel. <laughs> they like find the, the the things that you'd be scared most of. Like this, the the one of them is my favorite. They walk into the elevator and then the floor just collapses. Whoa. It's great. And then they, they, they film them <laughs> falling to what they think are their deaths. Are people just freaking out? <laughs> Yo, yeah. They're all like, I this is it. And then Yikes. you see people's, you know, facial expressions as they think they're gonna die. What do you search for? <laughs> How do you find that? What do just you look, just look uh Japanese elevator trap. Or... <laughs> okay. Japanese <laughs> elevator trap. <laughs> Whoa, there it is. Is that the trap you're talking about? Um That's that an is LED a trap. There's a few there. I mean, they do it all the time. The Japanese love uh, elevator traps. <laughs> Big part of the culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Prolonged elevator traps. <laughs> it looks like this when it, they make it look like the floor's collapsing. But yours, you're saying it was they literally going. They fall through. And then they have a camera right at the edge where the ground meets the elevator. So you see their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She's going to hell. <laughs> She's going to hell. <laughs> if oh, no. you saw that shit, wouldn't you think it was like, oh, I fucked up bad somewhere oh, the in my girl life on the morally? Left. Yeah, yeah, she's going to hell. <laughs> yeah, she did something wrong over there in Japan. <laughs> she did something wrong. Yeah, she, she dishonored her family. Yeah, she yeah. she wore shoes inside. <laughs> <laughs> she let the miso get cold. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I, she's walking around with those shoes that make your feet weird. Was that yeah. Japanese people? I think it was Chinese. Chinese. Foot binding? Yeah. yeah, the foot binding. The geishas, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, they think... <laughs> Geisha. <laughs> it's not a racist thing. It's not a thing. No, that's yeah. what they sounded like. <laughs> Hello, Miss Geisha. Good evening, boys. <laughs> it sounds like the clogging of the shoes. Yes. <laughs> the fifth annual clogging of the shoes. <laughs> God, I can get a kick out of the Japanese. I love it, dude. There's like the cherry blossoms, and then you got like 
basically the car culture there and then uh, you know video game culture video game culture yeah yeah exactly what there's a bunch of i was watching a youtube video the other day of all the can or the uh fucking <laughs> machines you put money in and the shit comes out and they have all Claw different machines? <laughs> vending machines yeah vending <laughs> machines why couldn't i think uh, of the word vending they have for like machine? underwear and stuff right like stinky underwear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got them for you. Can buy like you can buy a person. You could like do a <laughs> lot with people. those vending machines. <laughs> yeah. You they just all... can't smoke weed over there. Don't you get in trouble? I think it's like I don't have punishable by death. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> by samurai sword. Uh, no, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a, a lot of people have been. I've been transfixed on the Japanese lately, and a lot of people I think get upset about that or think I'm saying something, but I'm just p- particularly interested in the Japanese right now. You what do you mean? The- Are you saying something? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing is I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying I'm really interested in what's going on there right now. In like a in like a positive way, right? Yeah, okay. and, and financial, but yes, a positive way. <laughs> Not like you've been following them for three hours and then leaving and coming back ten minutes later. Would people just be looking out of their oh, windows yeah, like, yeah. who are these yeah, people? It was <laughs> one time. It was like a group of teenagers. Like, yeah, I think they were older. So they're like, "What do you guys want?" <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all yell something back or just drive off? We just drive. I think the ambiguity was more scary, so that's what we do. Yeah. (laughs) You You just roll the window up and fucking drive off. Yeah, but no, we used to, like, TP houses, too. Did you guys, like, you ever get caught doing something like that? Like a TP or, like, an egging? I don't think we ever got caught. Yeah. That's good. I don't think we ever got caught. One of my favorite... Favorite stories I've told hundreds of times is we went to egg a house when I was on Robitussin and I was too fucked up so the eggs, I had no object permanence so I couldn't figure out how to grasp the egg and I just <laughs> oh broke out. I broke about 15 or 20 eggs just on my body. I didn't throw a single egg. They would just break and I'd like... <laughs> oh man! We got in the getaway car and they looked at me. They're like, "What happened?" Like covered in eggs. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to throw them. <laughs> they got us, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, they're coming from uh, from all angles. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Object permanence. Object permanence. Object. We used to make the prank <laughs> phone calls. I remember one time we called this family and we got them to flush soup down their toilets and we were hearing them flushing the toilets. We said Wait. there were snakes in the sewer. Just some stupid ass. I'm sure it's been done a million times, but said there were snakes in the sewers and the people were going around their houses flushing soup <laughs> down there. We told them they need soup. It was bad. <laughs> at David Minervini's house, he had the speaker phone. So we'd always make prank phone calls over at his house. That was the best one. We got those people. They flush soup down? Yeah, we just look in the fucking phone book and look for like funny sounding names to us and call them. And <laughs> yeah, we got those fucking idiots. Yeah, no, the, they, they got a soup down there. <laughs> hey, but no snakes in the drain. That's a funny thing, too, is like they did that and there were still no. <laughs> There's no snakes, so they're like... Maybe they're still doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's they why pass it down any. generations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before you go to bed, be sure to put the tomato soup down the toilet. You don't want to get snaked up. <laughs> Do you guys remember when Snakes on a Plane came out? Oh, yeah, I think I saw man. it in theaters, maybe. But I think a, I was drunk. What a great movie. It became a real fear for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Something like that might happen. Yeah. Especially post 9-11. So yeah, was, like, people were scared. That and what the culture? What was it? It was just a, a plane that happened to have a lot of snakes being transported. Wasn't on it, it like it mm-hmm. was a terrorist attack? <laughs> was, that's what they used. I think it was. <laughs> it, I, I'm saying the, 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 the snakes would smell the for- pheromones or something, so it made them all aggressive. And then, like, Damn. there's a scene where the the fa- <laughs> plane is flying and everyone's sitting there. I'm on a flight, and then the camera goes down to the cargo, and it's <laughs> just a million crate of snakes. <laughs> and then all at once, the light comes on, and it goes beep beep, and all the gates unlock. Oh, damn! Right. Yeah, 
just one of those days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to I want to do like a a sequel to it but like bears on boats. <laughs> like that would bears be on a cruise ship, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, cruise ship. Okay, I was picturing just like some little <laughs> boat or something. Yeah, cruise ship. <laughs> or or boats, both of them. <laughs> it's just a a seaward terrorist attack and all at once <laughs> Each boat has corresponding amounts of bears, and we let them out, and just chaos in the sea. Damn. Yeah, there's no rules out in the open water, right? Mm -mm. No jurisdiction. Yeah, no jurisdiction. No jur <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can kill a bear. Bear can kill you. Nobody's none the wiser. Yeah. Sea bear. <laughs> sea bear. Good morning. Oh, yeah. oh, look. Yeah, is that what he's saying? Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Going to the island for a bit. Be back for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> what a cutie. <laughs> Very wow. sweet. Oh my gosh, look at that one. He's putting the motor. He's ready to get out of there. <laughs> he's yeah. his motor ready. Yeah, honey iced. <laughs> he's he's the barrel way driver. God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so terrible at rip. <laughs> oh, look at that one! <laughs> the pair <of> wedge <laughs> <laughs> works for me. Well, that's a big one. They must be friends. Good specimen. Yeah. Polar bears are terrifying. Grant pull up a polar bear. <laughs> that, I was hoping <laughs> Grant would pull up a polar bear. Stick a. Bit. Is he wearing overalls in that? Seems like he might have some sort of shirt on. Yeah, looks like he has a muscle shirt on or something. I don't know. Nice. Whoa. See, a little scary, right? Yeah. But they're just bears. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing know, to be afraid of. <laughs> yeah. Panda bears. They're oh, yeah. Notoriously sweet. Is that a Japanese bear? Uh, it, sh it should be if Chinese. it isn't. <laughs> there, <laughs> there. Now that's a Japanese bear. <laughs> that's yeah. a Japanese bear. <laughs> Wait, so when are you going to go to Japan? You're ever gonna go, dude? I was looking at flights to uh, Okinawa or no, uh, Okio or something, and yeah. flights are only right now from Austin to uh, to uh, Tokyo is like twelve hundred dollars, which isn't bad. It yeah, doesn't seem too bad, like in the grand scheme of it, to go to Japan. Yeah, it's not bad to me. No, yeah, for a guy like me, that's not that much, but yeah. For some yeah. people, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, <laughs> it's not something that I, I, I buy immediately, but it's something to save up for. And the best times to go to Japan are uh, January to March and late summer. How? Why January to March? Well, that's when... Uh, uh, season? I believe it's the cherry blossom season. Oh. Mount Fuji, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know your stuff. You know your stuff. This guy loves Japan. <laughs> He's the real McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> and that is cherry it's blossoms. McCoy. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the <laughs> the cherry blossoms. Yeah, and they've got them. They've also got cherry blossoms in Washington D.C. I think thanks to the Japanese. I could be wrong on that, but look at those trees. You ever beautiful? Look at that. So pretty. That's where I'm going to be one day. If I ever fall off the map, I'm like, where did Dylan go? We can find him. <laughs> yeah, go to the tallest mountain. Go to Fuji when you get to Japan and go to the top, and I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> well, good to know. It's good to know that if we ever wondering. Where do you guys want to go? Where... I'd go to Japan. Uh, we'll go with you. Yeah, yeah I would love to go. Coming with you. Disney we'll... Sea? Yeah, yeah, they have a cool oh. Disney World there. No shit, I didn't know that. Look it up. There's plenty of YouTube Disney, videos. I think they have a Disneyland, but Disney Sea's better. It's like Whoa. an ocean Disney. It's like a real fancy Disney. It's not quite Disney. That's it's interesting, Disney, but, but it's Disney. They have, their, they have a Japanese version of the Haunted Mansion. Oh it's my! It's completely different. <laughs> but it's horrifying. Do you yeah. just like open the <laughs> and door like... and it's like an atomic bomb? Oh no! <laughs> That's the haunted mansion. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. And all those cute little snacks they have. Yeah. Seven Elevens are like the yeah. best there. You get you go to a Seven Eleven and you get an egg chicken rice bowl dish down for you know. Not that much. Better than the bullshit <laughs> they have over here at the 7-Eleven. I so. tell you. The 7-Eleven. Pizza and the wings. Pizza's always hard. Yeah, It is a hard pizza. It's a hard pizza. Yeah, that's a hard pizza. It's a tough slice. 
I went to a slice, uh, brother. A Seven Eleven in Copenhagen once, and it was like walking into Whole Foods. Everything was nice. It smelled great. The floor was nice. Damn. The guy. It was so nice that when I went to go check out with my stuff, he was like, "You're a piece of shit." <clears throat> <laughs> Why did he say that? I, he purposes? didn't say, but he said it with his like tone. Yeah, you know, people always talk with their tones. <laughs> they, they, they can. I hear did you get that. a bunch of junk food or something? <laughs> yeah. What did you have? No, you I, have? I tried to fit into the culture. I got like some fresh pressed juices, some eggs, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boiled <no>. eggs. <laughs> uh, I got a sandwich. Mm. I got like five, six other things. Because well, the guy shouldn't have been. Talking with you weird with his tongue. I know. Well, he saw I was American. I had the worst time in Copenhagen in my life. Everyone thought I was like a a fat guy. And it was crazy. When were you over there? (laughs) I was over there in 2017. (laughs) And everyone in Copenhagen was uh, mean or quiet at best. And it it was just a very... It's a lonely, disgusting town. The, The buildings are beautiful, but... The people there just fucking hate you if you're me. <laughs> or they're quiet. <laughs> or they're quiet. <laughs> were you just there by yourself? No, I was uh, I was dating somebody at the time. We were over there. We are going to visit uh, his uh, mom in Spain. So we stayed in Copenhagen for a couple cool. days. And uh, they just fucking... He, he's from, he was from Spain, so everyone liked him <laughs> because he spoke Spanish. But Dylan didn't know how to speak no languages, so... They fucking hated me. I went to Amsterdam. They hated me there. Did they know before you said anything that you were American by like yeah. how you were dressed and everything? Well, it I didn't think even by matter my, if you said anything. Yeah, exactly. That, oh, weird. I, I think they just don't really like fat people over there. So I was just over there. They had a shower. I could barely like I. <laughs> they they had this shower that was like cool, but you had to walk through this like narrow like maybe like this big. So yeah. I had to like fucking. Like wet up, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> to get and then slide myself to get to the shower. They they hated us in every way. The fat that's weird. Yeah, get in the shower. Yeah, exactly. And then I had to sleep on like a little girl's bed for like two days because <laughs> we stayed in some apartment. And they're like, "Oh yeah, go stay in Kurpiska's room or whatever the fuck." Yeah, and she, she had like a little daughter bed. <laughs> you get to sleep on there. Yeah, my like my whole legs were like hanging off. It was awful. I hate that city. <laughs> oh my go to gosh, Japan. was there anything? <laughs> was there anything redeeming about it at all, or the whole thing oh, really wasn't it. good? I mean, they they'd bring up, oh, we have shops. That's their whole thing. This is like consumerist bullshit, you know? More consumerist what kind bullshit of shops? in Copenhagen. <laughs> what are you buying in the shops? I, I, oh, there nothing you could afford. That was the thing. All the shops were expensive. Oh. So they just they just wanted the hot rich elites there, not poor fat Dylan. <laughs> wow, well, getting from the even at the Seven Eleven, William. That's I, their problem. I know. Um, I know. Yeah, we're never going to Copenhagen anyway, so we're it doesn't even Mount matter. Fuji. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to go to Mount Fuji. Is that by the uh, the forest where everybody kills? Kills themselves. Yeah, yeah. Would you go walk in that yeah. forest? <laughs> oh yeah, I would. That's Have you seen pictures? Have you all seen pictures of some of the people in there? Very. <laughs> Fucking terrifying. Who is- <laughs> and do they leave the bodies in there? I think. I, I think they I don't do. know. Think or they, they go. Yeah. Pick them. I yeah. I mean, because if you hike <laughs> far enough, it's like. Oh no. Uh, if oh, you, no. If, if, oh no! If you uh, hike, if you hike far <laughs> enough, <laughs> sorry, sorry yeah. Japan calling. Yeah. <laughs> we heard your interest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How soon well, can you get here? We have uh, many things to show you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Japan. Yeah, but yeah, if, imagine if you hike far enough, it's like who's gonna break? Like if I went up like a certain amount of miles into that forest and killed myself. Nobody's, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got to like drag me through trees yeah. <laughs> for miles. Would, that's insane. Yeah. I think that's how Logan Paul got in trouble. Oh. Yeah. He mm-hmm. filmed one hanging there. Right. What did he say? Stuff looking at it. He was like, this is such a tragedy. We should, say, <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. should like say a prayer for this lost soul. But he's just like filming this, this hung body. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah, so, something like that. 
I can't even help but say a prayer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You sound yeah. just like it. <laughs> Damn. Is that what he sounds like? <laughs> we get off the podcast, Casey yeah. has like 30 million followers. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Damn, he blew up. <laughs> well, guys, I'll tell you who else blew up this week. Oh, huh? No. Who? Grant, pull that goddamn shit up. Okay, I guess you sent me an email. I sent you some (laughs) pretty sick emails full of some pretty sick stuff. You have to give me a sec. But uh, what's what's the title of this one? The top three celebrities who went broke, now they have to work normal jobs. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, uh, interesting. Like celebrity yeah. Gossip. Fall from grace. Mm-hmm. They had it all. <laughs> what was once theirs now belongs to not them. They've yeah. lost the things. They had everything, and now they have to work a normal job. Now they have to work gross, normal nine to five jobs. So we had nice what, towels. What was it again? T- top three celebrities who work normal jobs now. <laughs> <laughs> then and a real then and now. Yes. Yeah. You're not gonna like this list. It's gonna hurt your heart. Damn, dude. I I'm so curious of who's gonna be on that yeah. list. Ready, Grant? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is Grant laughing. <laughs> I just opened the email. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> oh no. Number one, Tito Haslam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Formerly. Mr. Mucinex. Throw him up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh. There he is. Oh, my God. That guy is out of work? He has not worked in years. Yeah, I haven't seen him. This really already long. is pretty sad, Casey. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Tito Haslam, formerly Mr. Mucinex, before he converted to Islam. He spent... <laughs> He spent $600,000 on a barn to keep all his garages in. (laughs) But by the time the barn burned down, he didn't even have enough money to build any more garages to put in it. Shit. What What was he thinking? (laughs) He was spending money recklessly. And that's him. Put your hands up, Mr. Islam. Mr. Tito Islam. Mr. Mr. Islam. What? Tito. He's doing worse in that other, in that second picture. It looks like that might have been after some of it. That's when he started. When it, he just had the music next year, and then by the end, he was a total shitbag. Wow. It's crazy that someone can get so famous and lose it all. <laughs> I know. You would think getting that famous, you could just, you would just being that famous, you would end up being able, the rest of your life. Yeah. That you would be able not to, to have to have a regular lost. job. Right. Right. You mm-hmm. you should be able, that Mucinex money should come in and then you should feel comfortable. But it's not like that if you're spending recklessly and you you have no uh, social currency and, <laughs> and financial awareness. That's a bad twosome. Yeah. For sure. A troublesome twosome. After a brief <laughs> stay, <laughs> after, after a brief stint in the National Guard where he proudly served during the Kent State Massacre, Mr. Haslam <laughs> went back to civilian life where he had six daughters and two more daughters. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Bringing the grand total to eight daughters. <laughs> Alongside his loving wife, Shanna, he now leads a quiet life in a hospital for the criminally insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's his life. <laughs> that's Shanna Snot. Shanna Snot. Hey, at least he found love. Yeah. That's positive. You but know? he's literally in a hospital for the criminally insane. Like right yeah. now, yeah. he's still. So he's not even getting paid for work. As we speak. Uh, well, they confiscate all his stuff. Okay. But sadly, he uh, uh, passed away peacefully in a taxi accident at the age of 27. Oh, shit. Cool. Well, he got out. He finally yeah. got out, it sounds like. They were trying. Transferring him and attacking him. <laughs> He's a member of, the, member of the 27 Club. Damn. I didn't know that. <laughs> Mr. Musinex. I thought I've seen him. On Tito Haslam. What was his name again? Tito Haslam. Yeah, Tito Haslam. <laughs> <sighs> Number two. This one might break your hearts even more. Jesus. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carslow Swine Touch, a.k.a. Paul Paul. So. <laughs> so <laughs> Papa, <laughs> you, <laughs> really <famous> celebrity. <laughs> you know Carlos Swine Touch, <laughs> otherwise better known as Papa, better known as playing the beloved Mr. T Ball on the Monsters. So, oh, oh, oh wow, yeah. it's Mr. T Ball. 
Oh. oh. That's where you know him from. I know oh. you guys are thinking about it. Yeah, the monsters. The monsters. Yes. <laughs> yes. So he was the heir to the mint julep fortune. Carslow was destined for stardom at an early age. After barely surviving a freak taxi accident at the age of 68, he began to chase his, li- his lifelong dream of becoming a model. Sadly, he didn't have the body. Mm. Oh. But opportunity came knocking when he was drafted into the Monsters at the age of 29. <laughs> that would have been big time. Yeah. Monsters is huge. Yeah. I like it better than Adam's family. Me too. That frankly. must have given him a world of confidence. It did, but booze, broads, and bad investments at the horse track took their toll. It's a bad threesome. It's one of the, the three Bs that can take you down in a heartbeat. It didn't handle the three. Booze, booze broads, mm-hmm. bad investments at the horse track. <laughs> Today, he is a simple financial analyst at Windsor & Windsor, making a meager salary of 400 pounds a month. Damn. That's cool he made it to Windsor & Windsor. He looks like a horse. He looks like a horse betting guy. Yeah. yeah. And he was. Eat that horse. <laughs> Eat that horse that wins. Yeah. <laughs> With Eddie Munster. Eddie Munster was yeah. a buddy. I think they were buddies. They were kind of like running buddies. Like they'd go out for cocktails at lunch and not come back till dinner. Gosh. And Eddie was so young. <laughs> Eddie was like 18 or 19 back then. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> Grant, pull up the second picture of him. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. That's it when he was a little younger. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was still hitting the track in that picture. Yeah. That's, yeah, that was when he was still kind of running and gunning. So. It was probably at the track because they used to have that white cardboard thing you could take your picture yeah, in front of right. so people would know you were at the track. Yeah. Welcome to Derby Downs. Yeah. They would say that. Yeah. Now. Derby. Derby Downs. God. Send Derby down. No, down to Derby. <laughs> yeah, that's what they would say at the parties. Get all down to Derby. Who's oh, with me? Come on, Papa, get over here. Papa, let's have another drink. Eddie. Wow. This is going to, this third one. It's it's just it's crazy how you can go all the way to Monsters and all the way back down. And what was his name on the show? That other sh- what was uh, his name Mr. on the- Mr. T-Ball? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. T-Ball. I know, Mr. and just T-Ball. Mr. T-Ball. Not even right. the monsters. Mr. T-Ball. It can, if it can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. Ugh. That's why number three might just scare your socks right off your body. <laughs> <laughs> number three, carry paintball. Mm. Wait. <laughs> do, I guess do the second one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> The first one might not make a lot of sense. It needs to be set up. <laughs> Carry paintball. Oh. God. Ow. K- yeah, you can <laughs> think that might hurt. <laughs> it looks like it would. That's a bunch of shots. Yeah, that's like 30 shots. Damn. But for Carrie Paintball, that's just another day at the office. <laughs> Carrie Paintball gained internet fame in the pre YouTube era for taking out a full page ad in the Hollywood Reporter claiming she could swallow 300 paintballs in 300 minutes if anyone asked her to. <laughs> Sadly, billionaire Lionel Richie took her up on this offer, and she finished the, the feat in a record 250 minutes. Damn! Yeah. 300 paintballs! She, she did it 50 minutes, like, quicker, quicker than yeah. anyone had wow. before. So she went on to win the SB Award for Bravest Girl in 2012, and won an honorary X Games silver medal, not even a gold, um, the next year, just based on her cool reputation. That's pretty cool. So she had the fame. She had the respect. She had it all. But it all came crashing down. Because X Games, you normally have to be a skateboarder or something to even let your ass in the building. (laughs) But they they gave her an honorary silver medal. medal. Damn. Gold you have to win, but silver you can be honored with. Interesting. (laughs) I didn't realize it about. Yeah. Sadly, she lost it all, Dylan. How many paintballs was it? it was like 300 paintballs in 250 minutes. Do you think if she had just a couple less, maybe? Maybe she wouldn't have gone completely daft? Yeah. Well, I think you'll see just kind of what happened and why it happened. Eventually, she spent all her money on more and more expensive paintballs until she was flat busted. Today, she runs a paintball course for at-risk youth, and she's been sober from paintballs since last April. Cool. That is really nice. <laughs> that one ends up yeah, a I, little better. Yeah. I was worried. I know. I thought she was going to get to 320 
And then, yikes, and taxi Lion? accident, gone. Yeah. Because yeah. Lionel Richie is a real bastard, I've heard. Yeah. I've heard that guy can be a real bastard. Once especially. he thinks he owns you. Yeah. Ugh. You're, you know, don't go out on the court, the paintball mm-hmm. course yourself by yourself. Typical Lionel. Uh, is this the at risk use? So that's the at risk <laughs> use eating paintball pizza. Um, Damn. Every first Thursday of the month, they have paintball pizza day. And the paintball's non toxic. That's good because a lot of the times it seems like there is a bunch of crap that can be in that paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of terrapins and all kinds yeah. of stuff in it. <laughs> well, that ended up being a little. Yeah. That was really nice. That was a nice one. That, that I, because I, I really thought it was going to go the other way with her. But she turned it around. She turned it around. She and now she's over. helping the next generation of paintballers. Yeah. Despite <laughs> yeah. Lionel Richie. Despite, yeah, kind of her disadvantages. Yeah. Is there still a statue of Lionel at the paintball course? Yeah, they left it up so she can kind of remember what she used to be and what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> what not to do moving forward. Constant S- reminder. Yeah, such as eat 200, eat 300 paintballs in 250 minutes. That would stretch your tummy out. That's a bunch of stuff. I mean, those paintballs can be as big or as small as you want them to be. Yeah, she got the medium ones, so that's a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that's huge. It's a large amount. Professional. Yeah, she knew what she was doing. Yeah. Damn. She and knew. Then, and now back to Mount Fuji, where it all began. Yes. Where we're all going to go someday. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Looking for your ass. Look, going to be like, didn't he say he's going to be at the top of that? No. Thing? All we need is $4,800. A bunch of change for the vending machine. A bunch of change for vending machines and however much the price is for the ticket. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we can stay in the forest and we'll go into town during the day. We'll eat out of the vending <laughs> machines all day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If we get hungry. Anytime we want. Oh, we, go to the we all machines. want a 4 a.m. snack. Absolutely. Beep boop, beep boop. Yeah. Is that the robot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Inside of the machine. Yeah. God. Welcome to hot dog vending. Yeah. Hot dog. I just, I don't want to go all the way to Japan and find out I'm a replicant. That would be fucking, <laughs> <laughs> a fucking sinister. <laughs> but that's where you go for answers. Mount if you're a replicant? Yeah. <laughs> don't go over there searching yeah. for that. Yeah, you might not like what you find. Uh, guys, I I have to. I, no, I gotta know. I have to know if I am a robot. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I have to know if I am a robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Dylan, thank you so much for being on the show today. We all got you this candied maple bacon candle. Oh my God. Bath and Body Works. Yep. Thank you guys. This is awesome. Oh, this no is problem. awesome. Padre. It says crispy bacon, <laughs> maple brown sugar, and smoked applewood. Give it a smell. That is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, there's no denying that smell. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> smells <Nailed> like <laughs> bacon. <laughs> Check that out. Yum. Pass mm. it around. Mm, it smells yeah. like bacon. Thanks for having me on the podcast. Yeah, thanks right. so much. In here, show the puppy. Have you smelled that? Yeah, <laughs> it, it smells. We have them going all again? the time. It smells like barbecue. You gonna smell it again? I can smell it from it being open. And then here's the little girl, and she's saying goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Meet Bye. you at Mount Fuji. Say goodbye. Yes, really really sleepy. sleepy. Yeah, she's too sleepy, and then I'm going to squeeze her. Don't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. (laughs) I'm just kidding. All righty, bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to thewilliammontgomeryshow at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at iBrettMyPants. 
This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.